Hi everyone, this is LaDonna Briggs from Sweet Potato Pie Nursery and I am painting on a prototype head. Um, this is a Jenny DeLang sculpt and it's a really big head as you can tell. And I am just working on getting this hair done. And then I'm gonna take pictures and this um, doll is going to be up on McPherson's website as one of their prototypes um, to sell this kit. So I'm going to work on the hair a little bit now. I kind of use a combination of liners and this is raw umber paint. So I'm just going to keep kind of blending. This is a size one Princeton Select liner. And I'm just going to keep adding some hair, blending. Always try to kind of fill in with the bigger brush. Pull her back and look. Oh, I got a smear on this side. I need to take off. Got a little paint on my hand. Got to be careful when with your hands. Make sure you keep them clean. Just trying to kind of blend. I usually always start with my corners, the front, this corner, and the back corner, and then I kind of try to blend, make it darker at the bottom, but a little lighter here where they connect. And kind of more of a watercolory, you know, blurry line. You, with this big brush. I'm not trying to really put detail in right now, but I am trying to keep my hair pattern flowing. This is really a big head. Um, and I do prefer painting because I think this would probably take me months to ever root. And I'm not that good at rooting anyway, so. This kind of seems like a big brush, but when you're doing a big head like this, um, I kind of like to use a little bigger and then I'll go back with a tinier to add a little more detail. using my pinky to stabilize as I do this. I have a lot of mineral spirits on my plate, on my plate here, but I probably am going to need to get a little bit more um, paint. This is a Princeton Select 10 Zero, so definitely a little bit smaller liner. So I'm going to get pick up a little more paint on my palette. I have this nasty brush here, and here's my raw umber. So I'm just going to get a little bit. I my <clears throat> paint kind of looks a mess, but this is kind of how I do it. I put thicker paint here, then I can always access my mineral spirits. This is a little more watered down. So, I don't even wash my brushes out in between. I just keep going. So, I was working on the back here. So, I'm going to try to add a little detail back here with my liner.
And I'm not using a different color paint, I'm just putting it on thicker right here. You can kind of add depth by doing that. You can kind of see that come to life. Just like the front of your head, you want to add little hairs back here at the back. So my hairline is going to kind of come like this. And I will definitely blend that because I would have should have done that. Here, I'm going to switch brushes real quick. I'm going to put kind of that on with the bigger so it'll be more blended. And I'm going to pick up a little more mineral spirits so I can really have a blended look there. So I'm kind of just getting this color onto my pattern on a little better. Now I'm going to come back with my smaller liner and add the detail. Just a little more paint, a little darker. So I'm constantly building on my paint here. Sometimes I'll turn my head around so I can get a little bit better use of my brush here. I can, sometimes it's easier to pull up than it is to pull your brush backwards. So I'm pulling or pull down. So see how I'm pulling downwards by turning it, the head. Got a little bit too much paint there. So I'll just put a little mineral spirits and I'll work that paint in. A lot of times you can just work with what you've already put on. Oops. A little bit of change in direction here. So my goal is to kind of keep this bottom part dark. I'm not doing individual hairs. I'm doing more of clumps of hair here. That's what I want it to appear like. So I'm going to turn it back around and see if you can see that. And I have a little cha change of direction here. This is my little brush again. So I'm just kind of adding these little small detailed hairs. And then I'll go in and darken here in a little bit. Start. I've just got to fill all this in still. And I need to blend this a little better. I kind of work randomly whenever I paint because it helps me if I can kind of evenly keep painting all sides, including the back, top, and then I kind of, then I'm kind of matching as I paint. I try to match what I do on one side to the other. I've already got my eyebrows on. I'm not quite done with all my face paint. I go back and I finish that later, but I've got most of it on. If 
put in a lot of little hairs. These aren't a different color, but they're just lighter. And I'll do the same on this side. Putting these little tiny hairs for realism. Sometimes I'll even take a sponge after this dries and I'll just kind of blend it so none of this is too dark. Unless you're really up close, you can't see it that well, but it is there, the detail is there. So I need to work quite a little bit more up top and I'm probably going to add some darker lines. Still using my little brush, picking up some dark paint. Remember, this isn't individual hairs I'm painting, but just kind of a, an illusion of hair that's stuck together. Got a little bit too much paint on my brush. kind of a look at the front. You can see this is darker on this side. I still have to work on this one. So I'll probably finish working on this side and then kind of try to get the other side to match. It doesn't have to be matched exactly, but um, kind of proportionate with each other. I want to be careful not to, to leave this lighter here so it looks like that's shorter hair growing there kind of bald looking. And then I want to kind of blend this. So I'm using quite a bit of mineral spirits at this time. My head kind of got misshapen while I baked it. So we've got a lot left to do, as you can see. This back part looks unfinished to me. I think I need a little darker paint. Sometimes I'll add a little black. a little more paint on my brush. Now I'm going to be turning my breath, my hair a little bit to this side. Sometimes this can be tricky, but I'm going to try to blend that. So I'm going to keep working on this and, um, well, let me work on this a little more. This is definitely not dark enough up here. There's not enough contrast compared to the front, see, and then it's too light back there. And this would be the darkest part of the head. So this definitely needs some work. But I don't want to just paint it in solid, so that's why I'm coming back with this liner to do a little darker but be a little more detailed and finer.
just a balance of getting, you know, enough paint on your brush that it glides and enough mineral spirits. You can always remove, I've always, I've baked, um, of, you know, layers and here, I need to bake here in a minute and try to, um, set this layer if I feel like I'm where I need to be. You can see it kind of starting to pop now a little bit because I've got a little bit of darker paint in here. But yet I'm kind of leaving some lighter places also. That's important. I've already baked that dark right there, so I'm gonna have to blend that dark line right there with some hair. All right, I'm gonna come back after I've worked on this a little more and show you my finished baby. I just wanted to show her to you um, while I was painting. Thanks everyone for watching.